Hello wonderful humans and happy new year. It is the start of 2022 and oh I really hope this is going to be a great year. I hope it's a great year for you as well but as um, most of us do I've set myself a few goals for 2022 um, and I'm going to share today with you five. I'm cheating a bit here. I have five reading goals and I mean some of them may be Number, okay, number five actually has five parts to it, but I have five goals, okay? <laughs> I'm not cheating that much. They're my goals for the year and um, hopefully I'll get through them and maybe I'll check in with them later in the year to see how I'm going. But the first goal, finish reading Wheel of Time. That is the big goal for my year. I really want to finish it by the end of the year. I may um, not get all my videos done though, I might. We'll see, but I want to finish reading them, hopefully by the time season two of the TV series comes out. That's my plan. That's my hope. It's my goal. So <laughs> maybe check in with me about that every now and then and see how I'm going. <laughs> um, goal number two is stay consistent with my video publishing. Um, I'm hoping to do two to three videos a week, depending on my work schedule, but at least the two um, Wheel of Time videos that I have planned. I think there's one month when I'm, when I'm doing New Spring which lines up with um, with some busier times at work where I'll only do one Wheel of Time video a week. But that's my plan is to stay consistent with my video publishing for my own sake. I think it, it will help me to have a little bit more of a routine. Um, that was one of the challenges that I had in 2021 was the break of my routine and 2020 as well with COVID lockdowns and all those kind of things. So I'm really hoping to stay a bit more consistent with all of my routines, work, life and YouTube as well. So that's goal number two. Goal number three is a challenge that I've set myself a few times and never quite finished. What I, what I want to do is read the alphabet <laughs> and, and by that I mean I want to read um, books by authors with names ending or not ending starting last names starting with each letter of the alphabet A to A through to Z or Z um, so that's the goal um, for example Robert Jordan obviously will cover my J spot and um, whatever else I end up reading <laughs> will cover if I get through all of them Brandon Sanderson will cover the S spot and, and so on. So that's my goal. I want to read the alphabet and some of that might get a bit challenging. So a question for you, do you have any suggestions for authors that I should insert, fantasy or otherwise, um, insert into any of those, especially the problematic letters, the difficult ones to feel like X. Um, I'm, I think I'll be able to do it. I'll just have to go along to a bookstore or the library. Um, that'll be one of the things I'm hoping to get to the library and just pick out random books if I don't have one. So suggestions are welcome and please do make some suggestions so that I can um, get stuck into some different books. So that's goal three, read the alphabet, author edition. Goal number four, um, I... Oh, I couldn't decide. I actually wrote two goals for number four. Oh, I'm failing at this already. Okay, I'm going to go with the second one because the other one I think I can cover in an, in another area. I would like to finish reading a book every week. Um, what I generally do is I read the Wheel of Time books, but I also have another book um, on the go at the same time. And that's that might be an audio book. It might be on my Kindle. It might be a textbook for, for work or whatever. Um, I just want to read at least a book every week or finish one. So in the weeks that I'm focusing more on Wheel of Time, that can count. And if I'm not focusing on that, I can um, listen to audiobooks. And I'm on track to do that because I expect to finish reading a book um, tomorrow um, while I'm still reading through Wheel of Time. That's how I like to read. That's not how everyone likes to read, but that's my goal. So that should put me at... A reading goal of 52 books for the year minimum <laughs> I think that's quite doable for me anyway in a normal year and my last goal which <laughs> goal number five which I've actually broken into five um, mini goals I suppose I would like to read five books in five different categories so I'd like to read five classics um, one of them <laughs> I um, am hoping to finish reading Les Miserables. I've read volume one. 
um, I haven't read volume two. So that's one of the books I'd like to finish reading this year. I'd like to read five Indigenous Australian authors. I would like to read five non-fiction books, which should be quite easily done, but um, I've already got those lined up. I want to five, uh, read five books from, written by authors from different cultures to mine, not US, UK, not sort of Caucasian English speakers. I want to read five different um, cultures. And I also want to read five female fantasy authors. I think that's one of the areas that I do read quite a few female authors just as a whole, especially in young adult fantasy and um, the rom-com type stuff that I read. But I also just want to find five fantasy authors who are female so I can expand that. And they might cross over. Some of these may cross over, so I might find um, an Indigenous author who is writing fantasy um, who is also female and I actually have a book lined up that I'm hoping to read this month um, that fits those cat that category all five all three of those categories so that ticks off a few so that's that is my fifth goal that is five goals in one if you will so that's 25 books potentially but as I said some of those will cross over um, one of the little, the second goal that I had, I want to finish reading The Silmarillion. I've started reading it um, a few times and I love it. I just always get distracted. I started, I always start reading it at the wrong time. So that's one of my goals is to read that and that might cover a classic. I think I can count The Silmarillion as a classic. Um, that's how I will classify it anyway. And um, a bonus goal of mine is to continue to write more i um i like to write and um i hope to write more particularly focusing on the story idea that i have that i've been fleshing out some of the characters and the backstories and things like that so i can i hope to continue to do that that's a goal so they are my five goals that's more than five goals, but you get where I'm coming from. That's my five goals for this year. I'd love for you to give me some recommendations for books that fit these categories, um, the reading the alphabet um, or any of the other categories that I had. Um, or let me know what your reading goals are for this year or other goals. I have lots of other life goals. <laughs> um, I'm not so good at um, setting many goals for myself, but these ones are reading goals are something that I normally manage to follow through with. So that's what I'm hoping. Um, let me know what yours are. Um, comment down below, like the video and subscribe. And I am super excited. The next video you see is almost definitely, almost definitely going to be, actually, no, it's not. I can't even say that. There will be a Wheel of Time video coming out at some point next week. Um, two of them um, at this stage. I've already recorded them. Um, so good news there. Um, but I will also have some other videos coming out as well because Wheel of Time is one lot of books that I like to read, but I like to read lots of other things as well. So I'm going to share those with you as well. So anyway, <laughs> that's me done. Um, definitely stay tuned and get excited, um, as excited as I am about the year ahead. I hope that this is a better year for all of us around the world. Um, and I will see you soon. Bye.